Howdy everyone, Ilias Leonidas here for our first Let's Play in Imperator Rome. New game by Paradox that came out for $40, you can get it. Um, I'll do a separate review. I think the game is alright, I don't think it's super great, I think it's lacking some features definitely coming out of the gate. Um, and that kind of has to do with a lot of Paradox games usually have a ton of DLC after the fact that make them such amazing, gorgeous games. But it does kind of suck that when you pay for a $40 game, it doesn't always feel like it's a fully complete game. Uh, that's not to say it's bad. I just don't know if I agree at the $40 price tag. So, uh, for our first Let's Play in Imperator Rome... We are going to play as not Rome. Uh, I'm more of a ancient Greek fan, and I would much rather play as one of the Greek city-states or one of the powers within Greece. Now, since this is our first game, I don't want to play as too powerful of a nation like Macedon, uh, or however you pronounce Phrygia, I think, Egypt, or the Seleucids. Also, I feel like that might be some issues with controlling them and making sure they don't collapse. So with that, we're going to look for some smaller city-states. Um, and right off the bat, I think the three I'm going to look into maybe doing is Epirus, Sparta, or Rhodes. Uh, and now all of them eventually I do hope to do Let's Plays of all three of these, especially Epirus, Sparta, and Rhodes. I would love to play as Athens, but they're basically a vassal to a huge power. So um, it's going to be really hard to... I'm going to have to get good at this game, which... Uh, it, probably not going to happen or it's going to take forever uh so what we need to do is probably play as one of the smaller powers that can kind of become a regional power in its little sphere epirus can be become a power here in northern greece and can interfere with rome and interfere with this area pretty easily which is always really interesting uh, if we play sparta we could try to take over the peloponnese and that would be a really kind of fun little course. The only thing is we'll run into Macedon pretty early and Phrygia, if that's how you say it. Or we could play as Rhodes. Uh, Rhodes has the same problem with Phrygia, but Rhodes can kind of do its own thing and go towards the ocean. And if we play as Rhodes, unlike the other two powers where Sparta would be a very militaristic heavy power, as would Epirus, though Epirus would be military in probably stopping Rome, Sparta would be trying to reform, or it, not so much reform, but take dominance over the Peloponnese and the greater Greek world. And for Rhodes, it would be a unique naval power opportunity. We would try to expand and develop our navy and control much of the Aegean Sea and far beyond if we could actually survive and not get swept up by greater powers. So with that, I think for our first Let's Play, we are going to play as Sparta, just to keep it kind of traditional. Uh, it's, you know, a very easy power that everyone knows. We're going to do Iron Man mode. Um, I don't know of any achievements for Sparta specifically. Um, there's some other Greek-related ones, but we're going to go ahead and do this. So this will be our first Let's Play as Sparta in Imperator Rome. Let's get started. Okay, Alexander the Great. In Babylon, 18 years ago, the African King Alexander died suddenly at the age of 32. In the five preceding years, in the five years preceding his death, his continuing military success has reshaped the world as known to the Greeks. His empire stretching uninterrupted from Egypt to the Indus. The shock of Alexander's early death and his lack of a chosen successor sent shockwaves through the hierarchy of strapos and generals who attended him splintering his empire into elements ruled by these potentates i am sorry if i cannot read uh styled as the didactyl for many years they and their successors have been locked in a bitter struggle over the future of the empire drawing all nations within the sphere of influence into the conflict the wars of the didactyl will surely continue perhaps it is up to sparta to decide how they will end the die is cast so here we are as sparta starting off those didactyl powers being Macedon, Phrygia, Egypt, the Seleucid Empire, uh, even Bactria to the extent, 
and some of these other players in these regions. They're all vying to reform Alexander's great empire, but especially these four main ones, you know, will be interlocked in pretty much a never any war or until their inevitable collapse, if we're going by history. So looking at our position here in Sparta, we are around a lot of little city-states. We have Megapolis and its surrounding city-states that are all in a defensive league together, so all of these five. We have Messania, who is probably our easiest expansion route. Um, they have no allies, and they have quite a bit of provinces that are really good for us to eat up. We have the Ron province right here, Lepron. They have no allies. Same with Ellis. And then we have some defensive leagues and different stuff, especially up here with Botea. Now, some of our neighbors like Argos are puppets or client states to other powers. Uh, Argos is a puppet to Macedon. Yeah, to Macedon. And, for example, Athens is a puppet to Phygia. Now, we're going to have to plan that out when we try to expand and do whatever else we're going to do. Now, one thing I would like to do in all of my Let's Plays is set out some goals right off the bat. So our first goal and our smallest goal is going to be to become the dominant power and conquer either all or almost all of the Peloponnese. Now, if it's one or two provinces like here in Argos and Corinthos that I can't get, then I still kind of consider that mostly success um, just because I... It's the first let's play i'm still learning the game so just take baby steps here our second goal for the let's play as long as we don't get conquered and destroyed is to expand our power and control through the a lower aegean here or the southern aegean becoming the dominant power within these various islands and making sure that spartan control of the classical greek world is kind of firm um by that time and this is a third, this is a stretch goal. Uh, we'll see if I even survive to this length. We will take on whatever great power that stands in the way of us taking over the classical Greek world in whole, whether that be Macedon or Phrygia, or both Phrygia and Macedon. Though, from my little experiences with this game, sometimes these powers do collapse. So, like that, let's get into it. Let's look at our inventions. Uh, the invention mechanics, I think are fine. I think it's pretty entertaining. Uh, I always take military... Oh, my bad. Uh, I always take this one, Herbalism, Technology plus 5 Speed. Uh, sometimes I do take the Military Artisans because that investment is nice. I think we'll do that since we're Sparta. There we go. And we're going to take an Omen. Um, we're early in the game. I don't see a ton of reasons to take anything else. I feel like we have a very low growth rate when it comes to Spartan manpower, but that could just be because Spartan society uses kind of the upper echelon as warriors, so that might be the issue. Um, Blessing of Athens, we can get research points. We'll do that. Oh, Blessing of Athena, I don't know why I said Athens. It's a <laughs> bit of a rival. Oh, we have an unmarried ruler. Uh, we're going to marry him off to just content, honest, humble... Yeah, I'll choose her. She sounds nice. And we can hold games, apparently. Let's uh, click off that. Still getting used to some of the menus. It's a little weird. We can hold games. You pay 15 gold. That's not too bad. Speaking of gold, we are actually losing gold right now, so we're not in the position to necessarily spend anything. Uh, looking over our neighbors, Messenia seems like the most logical first step. They could be an ally, but they're honestly, they're so tempting as a target. We're going to fabricate on them so we can go to war with them rather quickly. Uh, and while we do have some money, let's, we have four and four. Uh, let's build some light units. That way, they're cheap, and we can throw a lot that way. We'll build three of them. Bring our army up to about 11k. We're going to start the game. We need to make sure we got a general on there. Argos Agiad. These pronunciations will only get worse. Uh, let's go with Leonid dead. It's pretty close to Leonidas, so... Let's do him, Leonid dead. 
we have a lot of pretender supporters which is not great for us um we're lacking units but that's fine i'm gonna have all these guys come form up now messenia still does not have any allies which is perfect for us we can declare war on them and start this right off the bat so we're going to start a nice traditional spartan campaign we're going to go to war early and hopefully we're going to go to war often uh, we're going to drive this force up here to get to Messini. Uh, that way we hopefully attack uh, attack uh, the fort there in Messini. We have unused trade. We cannot trade anything, so that is unfortunate, but we can't do much. Let's turn this back on and let's bump it to the speed 4. That way we hopefully can get a little faster going. Oh, it would have been nice if we could have caught that army. Their army is really weak, um, as it was. But we are getting on here pretty quickly, which is great. Uh, we'll just let it tick over a turn or two. And then once we've gotten rid of this, there we go. We've gotten this province here. The city, I should say. The province is the greater sphere so we're moving all of our troops and we are successfully starting our siege uh, we're doing okay again manpower and money wise Messina wants to sue for peace they want to give up this one province um, we are gonna go for the whole uh, I have not noticed aggressive expansion being a very costly thing in this game so using that we're going to hopefully go for an early game push uh, we can release funds we'll lose money but gain prestige we'll do that we still have some decent amount of money I don't see us spending too much more now they're building up their forces. We still have a decent to spend. So we're going to buy one more set of cheap light infantry. We're going to use that cheap light infantry hopefully to increase our army size and hopefully stop any potential problems we have here. We have heavy infantry too, so I think we should be really fine when it comes to fighting them. I just want to be extra precautious, especially here early. We're going to bump it up to speed 5. I think it's going to be sitting on this fort for a bit. We have disloyal character. I can't do anything about the trade. And the lack of commander is not something that's going to concern us for much longer. Let's merge these two armies. Get rid of this. Get rid of this for now. And keep the other two. Now let's look at what's going on in the rest of Greece. Ooh, so uh, Lepron joined Messana in a defensive league which is fine I almost wish they would actually came with them this defensive league kinda collapsed ooh so Alice is at war with us because they just created an alliance with Messina that is really interesting um so I mean yeah okay so we have two people to worry about that also means, though, if we can get the right expansion route and we can cut off their forces early, we could potentially expand quite a bit really quickly, which, like I said, I haven't noticed aggressive expansion be too drastically bad, at least not in the um, tutorial. But the tutorial could have been lacking, and I, I, they definitely gave you quite a bit of buffs for certain things, so... Okay, they are coming at us. Let's we'll see if we can weather that. Oh, pretty... Oh, not as easily as I was hoping. We'll still be okay. As long as no one is joining them. Nope. Okay, Um, what we will do is we're going to invest a little bit more into some more troops. And we should have enough manpower to get more back. Oh, perfect. Uh, We'll be able to get some gold. That will help stave off any problems we might have. Now, unfortunately, their army is marching north, and we'll connect with Ellis's army up here. 
I almost wish, I mean, this we probably wouldn't be able to handle this amount of troops, unfortunately, but it would have been nice if we could have fought uh, Leprion right now. Yeah, I don't want to join any smaller powers defensive leagues, but I don't mind them joining a defensive league with me. So, uh, I think we're going to let that go for now. I could add these two little guys to my arsenal. It only really matter if they come about and have ooh, uh, military access for Agion. I don't care and chosen wants to be in a defensive league with me as well um they're just not really powerful enough they're little oligarch republics they're they supply a decent amount of troops uh to me so probably like four or five k occasionally but it's not really enough somehow we don't have enough men still We are draining ourselves a little bit. We're going to build 2k more. I know we're getting a little too high on our troops. Okay, there we go. We're able to read. I think once we expand, we'll be fine. Plus, I'm hoping we can go up to Elias and take it. We'll see if how that goes. The siege is one, so that's perfect. Drag these guys up. Our monthly balance is not great, but it should be manageable for now. Can lower fabricate claim cost? Armor recovery might be a really good one to take right now. Starting experience is also nice. Our national tax. We're actually going to go with the national tax because uh, that should help us a little bit when it comes to finances. Let's see what it does next turn. Yeah, I dropped it by 0.1 something, which isn't huge, but in the world of paradox grand strategy games. Small amount of ducats can lead to great, great consequences. Uh, we're going to ask for military access. We're going to have to pay them, unfortunately, which sucks. But we will come back and exact our revenge on them eventually. Let's see. Ooh, Argos is at war with... I didn't even see who that was. Agion. Interesting. Uh, we're going to ask for the access... They granted us, so now we can go up and kick the shit out of Ellis. And they have Olympia with them in their control as well. So that'd be some great cities to add to our control. Now, our, oh, we're losing a lot of men here. Ooh, I don't know if we want to... Uh, we're going to engage in a very... There we go, we're fine. So we took a really good battle there, actually. Messina and now lost their men. We might be able to sue for peace and get Ellis to surrender at least Olympia to us, which would be great. I think this is unfortunately a fort, but this sends Lucas. Megapolis is asking us to be in a defensive alliance with them, so I'm guessing, yeah, they don't have any allies anymore. We're going to stay out of that. I really, really don't want to befriend people if I have any chance of fighting in the future. So we're at war. Epirus seems like a good expansion ally. Um, ironically, looking at the other possibilities we could have had to play. About Rose does not, yeah, Rose doesn't really care about us. Okay. Well, let's just hold here for now, see if we can get this siege done and down, and that way we can, luckily not losing too much money now, so we can actually hold out pretty well. Oh, wow. Um, somebody's being really nice. Where are you at? Okay, this, these guys gave us some money. They want something. Not really, they have a pretty good alliance. Oh, they're at war. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'll accept that offer because you were nice enough to pay me. 
Um, but oh boy, they're at war. Now the good thing out of this is if we can hold out longer and fight Elias, uh, let's do that one. Let's see if we can get Elias as a. I actually wouldn't mind him as a subject. No, nope, let's just say Messina. Can I not? Okay, I need need to occupy them, the capital. Now I think we we're gonna start recovering manpower at least. So I actually I think we're gonna risk a lot of our early game manpower and drain ourselves pretty bad here. But I think it'll be worth it because we'll be able to expand drastically, relatively quickly. Plus we'll be able to get. I think Olympia has a special building. Could be wrong, but I thought Olympia was where they held the Olympics, but that could just be my misunderstanding of names. So I thought, because there's some like special structure right there that's supposed to be important. Oh, there's also the Temple of Zeus, but I don't think that, maybe there is an Olympia. Okay, we're getting up there. I'm going to wait. I'm just basically going to let us bleed our manpower pretty dry, and then we'll attack them. I want to have a full stack of men, basically. Because, I mean, it doesn't really hurt us too much. We're at war, but our war attrition isn't high or anything, and should be okay. I think we should have 12-ish, 16, so... We're not quite gaining the amount of men I would want. Once we get to 15, I think we'll go. There we go. Going in for the decisive battle, hopefully, in Ellis. And it's looking like really going in our favor. There we go. I don't know where he's retreating to. Can they retreat over here? No, it's not their island. So I guess we'll see where there is retreating to there. And we got them in another battle, captured their lord. We're going to get to Ellis, hopefully, before they get their troops, or at least before they get out of the way. It's looking like it's going to happen. Yep, perfect. Got rid of their men. We are occupying that now, and we're going to siege down that fort. It's a great start. Hopefully, that means we can expand really drastically. I'm going to army rec morale recovery. That should be a good one to take. And with that, we're going to end up expanding quite a lot here at the beginning. Uh, I hope aggressive expansion isn't as big of a problem like I'm thinking it's not. It, it really didn't seem like it in the tutorial, or I did a couple of test games and didn't notice anything. Macedon is losing right here, which is shocking by to, to this little guy. Like, how big is your alliance? Just Agion. So who's Macedon fighting? Just Agion and is he? Wow, you're just fighting two, these two guys. That's pretty brave of both of you to take on a giant power like that. Okay, we're negative one, which is not good. Okay, and Siege Illus is successful. We're going to take all of Illus as well. That's going to give us four aggressive expansion, which. I don't think is a lot from I never experienced any problems in the tutorial and the little other games was never that much we're going to take this so we lose a bit of that aggressive expansion and this one so that's a whole one so we basically only took three off of that which is not too bad so there you have it we have expanded we've taken control of all of the southern part basically the Peloponnese at least the southern coast down here 
and we also took Ellis and Olympia up here, which is great additions to our little expansion. Now, Viprion is the only one that is kind of annoyingly in our way. We can fabricate a claim against them. I'm debating if that's a waste. It's just a one province. But they are blocking us from having a continuation, which irks me a lot. So I'm thinking we might go after them. Yeah, you know what? Let's go after them. We have the manpower. They have no allies. We're going to cancel the military access. I'm going to have to wait a little bit to January 31st. They shouldn't get an ally by then. This isn't quite as bad as like Europa Universal allies where like the second you start fabricating, at least I haven't noticed it, like the second you start fabricating, all of a sudden somebody guaranteed somebody else instantly. Accept that offer for trade. Looking good at 16k men. Uh, we're gonna bring this forces down. I can't tell. Can you? Yeah, 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 okay. Ellis, you can connect from there. We need a new researcher for the orator position. That is a very important one for us. That is how you fabricate those claims. And we're going to declare war. And they have an ally. Um, oh, so that won't be nothing. That will be a little bit more difficult. Let's move our forces over. How'd they get an ally so soon? Did you guys enter a defensive? You just entered an alliance, I think. Yep, just an alliance. That is fine. You know what? We're going to go ahead and declare this war. Take Glaceon. We're going to go straight in. Doesn't matter. As long as we catch one of them by themselves. Ah, and we didn't catch either of them by themselves. Now, the good thing is we do have a fort here and we have forts down here. So even if they get access military access through we say megapolis for example they are going to be stuck there and actually they don't like they do not like them so that is great for us um i do not want to invite you Ooh, alliance from boeotia uh i'm very tempted to take that because boeotia should be doing all right do they have any other allies though no but they are guaranteed by for uh for Gia, however you say that so Accept that. Perfect. So now we have a decent sized ally up here in Boeotia. And I was looking to see if we get an alliance with Epirus. So that seems a little bit farther away. But all good. We now have a good ally up there in the middle. Unfortunately, I don't think we can drag him into this war. He would be a great addition right now because that would definitely tip this into our favor oh, we can call to arms so we're gonna call to arms and Boeotia is going to help us if they can get over here so they're separating what we're gonna do is we're going to create new unit just send a thousand archers and leave them here and we're going to march this force up I think depending on where Okay, they were going to go to Olympia. It's perfect. Hopefully we can catch them before they get out of there. We can. That's great news for us. So we should be able to destroy half of their army right there. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we can't march north, but we have now at least cut them off. Now, if Boeotia could get down here, that would be awesome. But uh, unfortunately, I think they're probably going to be stuck up north. Ooh, so this actually might benefit us quite a bit. Um, it seems like they're dragging at least some of the armies around here. So they will have to take Sparta first before they can even advance anywhere over here. We can take a military tradition. We're going to take plus 10... Uh, percent heavy infantry morale if you know Spartan warriors I think it's a good one 
just going to leave those troops parked there. It sucks to get any attrition, but I'd rather them take small amounts of attrition. That way we can prevent any recruitment. Now we are losing now since they did take that. We are up on men though, but not by much. I really need Boeotia to get over here. Oh, Macedon wiped out Agion. And Agion still, yeah, Agion controls those two forces. They actually have probably 20k, or had 20k after the, before that defeat, but that's unfortunate for them. That would have been a smart thing to hold on to. How much is our manpower recovery? 76, not great. So we're not really <laughs> gaining a lot of men back each time. Good thing is any 5k to siege that. All right, 35% here. That's good for us. Uh, I was hoping they would take that and try to attack. No, unfortunately. Yeah. Mercenaries seem to just appear. So there's no mercenaries I can see. Can we does that increase I think it did but it's not really okay we won the siege so therefore we're good on the siege we could sue for peace I mean, not successfully. We need to take our war goal first. So let's go down. That's probably going to tempt them to try to siege our home area out. Or uh, their home area back out. Unfortunately, this area doesn't revert back because I guess it's not in the range. We can... That prawn is about to be taken by us, so we're not... Oh, it's the peace. We're not going to accept that. Gnosis on Crete wants to trade with us, so we'll do that. Oh, is there any more help when it comes to this population growth, at least? You can take the population growth. We just really need help badly when it comes to our manpower since we're we've been in two very costly wars I, we're gonna have to really calm down after this war oh boeisha there boeisha comes to our rescue uh deals a really heavy blow to at least the leperon forces though unfortunately they're not coming over so i don't know why I would think in a military alliance, you would already, I would have access and they would have access. They did enough though, that is going to help us. That cuts their forces down just that much more. Since the glorious days of the mighty Heracles, the young men of Greeks have every four years competed in the Olympic games. In order to win, fame and fortune for themselves and glory for the nation held in olympia the games are an opportunity for all in greece to lay down arms embrace and pay homage to their forefathers as we control the ancient site of the games it is our duty to hold the games this year we should think carefully before we are going to hold the games unless some tragic events about to happen Military access and defensively with Trozen. Uh, sorry, Trozen, I don't really want that. We'll do the military access just because I kind of want whatever madness is going on, especially with the fact that the Macedon has not been able to quell these little forces. I think what's happening is Macedon is not getting access through these private Greek 
city states and especially I think Megara. Megara. Megara is owned by Phrygia, which is Macedon's like prime rival. So basically they can't get down. Great, so we held the Olympic Games. So I was right, it was Olympia. Makes sense. Once Leprion falls, we'll take these two provinces and we're going to chill. Uh, we're going to chill till we have them in power again. And we're going to plot our next move. Also, I think this will be the end of this first part. I was hoping for like 30 minutes. Looks like we'll go a little bit over that, but that should be all right. We got a nice, great start to our Sparta campaign. Okay, we can build Omen Powers, Primate Culture Happiness. That is good, but it's not what I want right now. Progressive Expansion. We are going to go with plus 10% to our heavy infantry. Just the more and better our infantry are, the more stereotypically almost propaganda Spartan they are, the better we will be. Aotola, which is this guy. Is that the only place he owns? He owns a couple different places. He's guaranteed, though, so he is not going to be something we're going to be targeting anytime soon. Um, he's at war with Cartier, Mespia, and Apoila. I think those are, yeah, those are the powers over here in Italy. A small island. Uh, that's not a terrible alliance to take up on. They're allied with Epirus, who we want to ally with, and they're allied with this power right here. Again, I don't see us really going out of our comfort zone, and it's never, we're not going to ever do anything with them if as long as they're in that dealing with Phrygia. So this is in the defensive league. Parthia. Oh, I don't want Parthia to be in their defensive league though. Uh we're going to not accept it. Parthia is on the list of things we need to eat. So unfortunately decline your offer. I think you're just like one you're not even in. You're just guaranteed by Macedon. Which sucks for us. You are guaranteed by Macedon. Not great. Oh no, we've okay, we've hit a a roadblock here. I'm going to out take these guys. They should recover. In friendly territory. I think it's going to cause them to flee and go somewhere. That's fine if they try to come around the right side here. That's actually perfect. Okay, lack of commander is not an issue. Should be able to. We have 10k men. I, I can't imagine we don't have enough to actually. There we go. So. All that weight just for a little bit of a pause. Take this as well. We'll get two aggressive expansion. Still not too bad. I think we'll get ability to minus one. Let's click this. Okay. We're going to banish the class and put the rest of the sword. So minus aggressive expansion, minus aggressive expansion. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Well, fast forward in time the 8th of August 459 and we have drastically increased Sparta we have taken all of the south of the Peloponnese and almost all of the west of it as well well thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and you want to see the second part of our Sparta let's play in Imperator Rome this has been Ilias Leonidas. I'll see you guys in the next part. Ciao for now.